Are you ready? Once again, we are back here uh, for another one. And this one, uh, in my opinion, is one of the most important ones uh, because of the fact that it's the first thing that you should learn when you start playing pickleball, uh, especially when you go out and play some rec games. Uh, I think this is important uh, not just for you to be safe, but for you to enjoy and kind of be a little bit better with people around you uh, because again I know that a lot of the times when you go out to play people are telling you what to do but if you know and you can do these things that will be very helpful and again once again I, let me not forget to introduce my guest I'm Joyce Marianne and again let's do this there you go okay so here we go so when we start playing one of the biggest things that I see is that we serve and we move forward. Then the return comes and what happens? It hits your feet. So I want you to think when you're serving, you stay back. So what you should do, and I know that you, we are deadly afraid of getting beat in front of us, but it's much worse to get beat at our feet because again, the ball must bounce when we serve. So you cannot take the ball on the fly. So therefore, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this again, and we're gonna serve and stay. All right, so we're gonna serve, good serve, stay put. Got it? Nice. And that's out, perfect. So again, what allows Barb here to do is actually you have time and space to hit the ball. Once we serve and start to move in, creep into the court, you tend to get beat at your feet or even worse things can happen, which we'll talk about. But this is the part where it's best that you do that. Uh, one thing that I hear all the time is that, uh, again, oh, what if I get a short return? Well, if that happens, then don't worry about it. Let the ball go, but it's much easier to let a ball go when it's in front of you than it's when it's coming towards you. So again, serve and stay. Go. Good. Go back to her. That's it. And I'll put it away. Or out. One of the things that we want to talk about is returning and coming in. Because if you stay back, as you saw, that it ends up that you get in trouble because now it's easier to get that ball to the feet. So what you want to try to do is return and run to the kitchen line. So you're going to return and come in. So therefore, they, they, you don't allow your opponents to hit the ball to, you know, to your feet. Uh, again, once you start, when you're beginning, it's much harder. Your opponents are not going to have the skill set to hit a third shot drop. So because of that, you want to make sure that you come to that kitchen line because most likely you will get a volley. So let's try that again. And this time around, all the way to that line, Barb. Go. Now be ready. Pedal up. Good. That's it. Perfect. So again, it gives you a better positioning on the court. It enables you to take the ball out of the air. Plus, your opponents, because they are not able to hit a third shot drop, they're not going to be able to put the ball in your, at your feet. So again, serve and stay, return and run. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. I hope this is helpful to you. Uh, and again, we'll see you soon at the courts. And this is a wrap for Valencia. Yeah! <laughs>